What you're going to find is that the uh, relief line is going to provide options to uh, individuals or transit riders that typically would ride over to line one. Uh, it'll relieve the congestion there on line one. It provides options to customers. They'll come down Pape to Queen right across to Osgood. King Street Pilot's going very well. Uh, ridership's up significantly. We know that the reliability of the line is, uh, is, is very good, as well as the travel through the area is moving around quite briskly. Uh, you know, the city's done a real nice job with the investment in the area uh, to encourage customers to stop, shop in the area, eat at the restaurants. Um, it's, it's really working well. We're gonna be bringing a final report to our board uh, early next year on it. Well, I tell you that the delivery of the new streetcars from Bombardier is going very well. Uh, we'll have a full rollout on King Street by the end of this year uh, and follow shortly thereafter with a rollout on Queen. It'll be nice to have the entire network uh, accessible by the end of 2019. So we have some pretty significant capital repair programs underway and what we've realized is when we close a subway station for a weekend, we can get the equivalent of five weeks worth of work done when we do it only on the all night shift. So we're closing these programs for automatic train control, for the future movement of trains, for track upgrades, replacements and a number of other capital projects that will help improve the uh, or modernize the TTC into the future. First, I'd like to start out by saying that, you know, the existing signal system at the TTC dates back to 1954. And although it's safe and it's functional, it's not as efficient as today's uh, automatic train control systems that are in place. Uh, once we have this new system fully installed, right through 2020, we'll be able to provide a much more fluid system moving trains closer together uh, and faster through the system, providing more capacity to our customers. You know, we uh, plan to uh, upgrade King Station beginning the end of this year. It's going to take a few years. Uh, the intent of the TTC is to make all of our subway stations accessible by uh, the end of 2025. Although it's legislated uh, for us to do this, we, all, we also believe it's the right thing to do. I was hired at this organization to operate the service, and that is really to serve the 1.7 to 1.8 million passenger trips a day. So my primary focus is getting the buses and trains and streetcars out in the system and on time. One of the things I tell people is that uh, our obligation is to provide a safe and reliable service, and we want to be there when we tell you we're going to be there. The second priority is the investments that this board and this council have made to upgrade the existing system, buying new accessible light rail streetcars, upgrading our signal system, buying new buses and trains. You know, the concept of integrating the TTC with the um, Council's direction of Transform TO for environmental benefits, for the Vision Zero of maintaining a nice safe city where we have less pedestrian accidents. Those, you know, those are in line with the number of priorities that I have for the TTC. I can tell you I do a little bit and I've taken it. Uh, I think it's a brain concept of having this underground city or a maze as I tell people uh, to help people get around the city, especially when it's cold out or in the winter. Um, it's kind of fabulous the fact that you can get through businesses and get to shops for shopping and go to underground restaurants to eat. Um, pretty spectacular.